Now, lastly, I want to point out uh, as you look at the design of this vehicle, what we're talking about is truly a hybrid of an aeroplane on top with an aerodynamic tail and aerodynamic wings and a hydroplane on the bottom. If you flip over, you now see the tail and the main foil, which is the wing there. So what our engineering team has done is built a plane on top, a plane on bottom, sandwich them together. The amazing thing is one of these planes the hydrofoils, the, the hydroplane here, is in a fluid water that is a thousand times more dense than the fluid we're in right now as air. And so the magic that happens on a sea glider takeoff is that we're hydrofoiling through the water on these actively controlled automatic systems that are fluctuating and controlling the vehicles hundreds of times a second. And immediately in a fraction of a second, we transition to different controls that are in a different fluid. Now this could never be done with human operators and in fact has been one of the biggest problems with similar technologies flying boats and wing and ground craft in the past. Regent gets over that hurdle because we say no human could ever do this reliably or safely. We're going to have sensors and software systems do this. We're going to make these software systems multiply redundant so they are extremely reliable. And now we're just gonna make it so the captain, all they have to do is press a button. We're gonna take off, we're gonna drive it like a boat and we're gonna land. And so it's just amazing even to me now that we've made it work to think that you press a button on the inside and you have all this amazing engineering going on converting from this incredibly precise underwater system to an equally precise aviation system.